Hey guys, today we're going to be putting the Ice Tower Cooler on our Raspberry Pi 4 4 GB model. Going to overclock it and we're going to install some Retro Pi. Should be fun, stay tuned. Alrighty, welcome back. So, you know, I've been waiting for a while for, you know, RetroPie to be available for the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, you know, I've seen some people do some workarounds for it and whatnot. And, uh, you know, so finally it's here. Um, but um, I also want to overclock. So I, I was looking around for some, some cooling options because, you know, for those who don't know, the Raspberry Pi 4 runs hot to begin with. So, you know, I looked around and, and I saw another YouTuber who was playing with, you know, the the ice tower cooler. And I'm like, well, I'm going to give that a whirl. Um, so it looks, it's kind of reminiscent of a Noctua. You know, it's, it, it's you know, same type of tower. It's got the fins. It's got the fan. It's got a little bit of a RBG on it, it looks like, or at least it lights up. I don't know if it's true RBG or not, but uh, we'll find out. So what we're gonna do is gonna put that together. I got some thermal paste I'm gonna actually use instead of like thermal pads. Uh, thermal paste I'm gonna actually be using is from Thermal Take. It's a TG7. Um, I think it's supposed to be the stuff that's got diamonds in it or something, I don't know. It's uh, supposed to be pretty good. I've used it on some of my processors and it happens to also be what I have laying around. So you know, we'll, we'll give that a, a shot there, you know. Um, like I said, I'm excited about it. So let's uh, let's get the ball rolling on this and uh, get this thing put together, load it up with software, and overclock and see how it does. Maybe run some uh, some old school games. All right. So here is our cooler. Our cooler. If I can get this open. So here's our cooler. Let's get this out of here. And it comes with a screwdriver. So I guess I can put my uh, my Zool toolkit away for right now. It comes with a um, platform. Now this is. Also, this is a product from uh, from GeekPie. If you haven't uh, bought anything from GeekPie before, um, they make some pretty good stuff. I've got a couple cases from them. And I haven't been disappointed yet. So that's something to, to keep in mind there. So it's got some instructions. You know. Odds and ends. Hmm. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright. As you can see, like I said, this is pretty uh reminiscent of something you might see like a looks like a knock to a type of cooler or something. And uh Yeah. See what it what it say, what it do. Alright, well I'm gonna probably time lapse this uh, next part. Um, you know, the actual build part and then kinda go from there.
so we will I'm gonna get this uh, loaded with some software get it going and, uh, and see what it does um, pretty simple design you just uh, you get it going it's gonna get have a lot of open air but I mean this is gonna be a, a heck of a um, heck of a fan on this thing I'm really excited about that but anyways um, let's get it loaded up all right guys so we're back we got a Raspberry Pi set up um, with retro Pi I have a Super Nintendo on here I have a Nintendo you know there's a few games on there I went ahead and uh, did the scrape and the set the basic setup already if you're interested in seeing that setup I will put a link um, to how all that was done below um, to another video the uh, that video was for Raspberry Pi 3 but it's it's basically it's the same setup so um, we're gonna go ahead and attempt to do an overclock on this Pi 4 um, and see how that goes and as far as our finished pie, um, I don't think I've shown it yet, you know, lit up, but, uh, you know, there we go. I'm probably not doing it any justice right now. It's a little, a little dark in here, but you can see, you know, it's got the lights going, the fan, the cooler's pretty much a beast. But anyways, I also apologize. I don't have a video capture card, so <laughs> I'm just filming straight onto the screen. So, um... Let's get started. And uh, this is my first attempt at an overclock on a Raspberry Pi. Uh, full disclosure. Also, this will avoid any warranties. And if you uh, attempt to do this, um, I'm not responsible for you catching on fire, bricking it, or you know whatever. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to hit. Okay, first we're going to type the sudo rpi slash update so anyway so we're, we're running the <clears throat> an update here so sudo rpi dash update and basically what that's going to do is you know we're going to update the firmware here all right guys so What's going to happen now is we are going to attempt to overclock a Raspberry Pi 4. So I have the SD card, you know, loaded in here so I can do this from here. So what you're going to do is you're going to find it. You're going to go to, you know, this is H. So we'll go to boot and then you'll come down here to config. You're going to want to open it with notepad plus um, plus. I'll put a link down to download that, but what you're going to want to do is go down to line 42. I got arm frequency 800. So we'll take that out and we'll put in here arm frequency 2, 2000. And let's overvolt a little bit. We'll, we'll start with 6. I mean, with 4. I apologize. And uh, we're going to overclock our GPU also to 600. We'll go ahead and save that. And we will put this back on our Raspberry Pi and see what happens. Um, you know, if you put it in there and it's not quite stable, you can pop your card out, you can come back in here and you can start to make adjustments. Um, from the research I've, I've seen, um, 600 seems to be pretty solid for the GPU. And as far as... Um, you know the CPU itself. You know I've been seeing people go to 2,000. Um, you know the 2.0 gigahertz. Um, you know you see might have to overvolt a little bit, so you're gonna need a pretty good power supply. Um, I know I've read the stock Raspberry Pi 4 power supply, which is what I'm using, will do the job. But you can buy a beefier one if you want to. Um, and, but I've seen people overvolt between four and six. We're going to try four. Uh, full disclosure, this is my first overclock on the Pi. So we're going to see how it goes. Um, and that, that's going to be that. Um, so let's pop a card in and uh, see what happens. All right, guys. So here we are. We're back at our Raspberry Pi. And uh, 
you know, I got it loaded up. We got uh, games on there and, and all that happy stuff. So what we're going to do first is we're going to want to check to make sure that our uh, overclock took. So what we're going to do is hit F4. I do apologize. I don't have a video capture card yet. And we're going to type in CAT space slash SYS slash devices slash system slash CPU slash CPU zero slash CPU frequency, which is F R E Q slash scaling underscore max underscore frequency. Then we'll hit enter. It looks like right now we're at a 1.5. It was trying to get up to two. We'll play with this a little bit more. All right, we're gonna try and attempt something else. So we went back in, still not getting the overclock. So we're going to try, so we're gonna try something new. Uh, we're gonna go type in sudo nano slash boot slash config dot text and here's what we got here all right so we'll change that all right so i made some changes there um I took the hashtag out so we'll see if that makes any difference there and we'll kind of just go from there. We'll just type in sudo type in sudo reboot. And we will see what happens here. All right. So after some trial and error, um, I had to have the text document typed in there right. Um, I had to take the hashtag out, had to overvolt the six. As you can clearly see, we're now at two gigahertz. So yay me. So let's reboot this beast and let's check out a couple titles. So it's just some trial and error, some learning. Like I said, it's my first overclock on a Raspberry Pi. Um, you know, I, th I think it's pretty cool. You know, I had to kind of figure it out. You know, I followed some instructions, you know, that I had looked up after doing some research and they didn't quite pan out right. And it basically just came down to how I had it typed in. And, you know, I had to play with it a little bit. And here we go. So it already seems a little snap here. So we have a Super Nintendo, we have a regular Nintendo. Um, you know, let's go here, let's, let's try one of these titles is, oh no, hit the wrong button. Anyways, Punch-Out. Punch-Out's probably one of my all-time favorites um, for this system. You know, I used to play this to my eyes bled. Um, I don't have any sound on right now for the games because I just have it kind of hooked up to my monitor. But as you can see, here's our old school game. Hit and start. You can hit new. There we go. There's Glass Joe. Let's see what Glass Joe's got here. You know, these old 8-bits, they're, they're great. So 
I guess I don't have anything crazy emulator wise just some of the, uh, the classics you know um, so you can see this it, it seems to play pretty well I'm excited looking to play some of these new ones let's check out a, um, a Super Nintendo one Wow, this is, this is like ancient. I remember thinking how great these graphics were back in the day. And, uh, you know. It's kind of, kind of interesting, so we'll see what we got here. Yeah, I suck at this. Huh? Well, in a nutshell, guys, that's about it. Um, you know, so we successfully overclocked the Retro Pi. Um, it plays really smooth. Um, I'll say that much. Um, I'm really digging it. Um, if you're interested, anyways, guys, that's it. Basically, in a nutshell, we've got our Retro Pi updated, and it's it's good to go. Um, no real complaints. Um, I think it runs a lot better. I need to, I need to upgrade and uh, get some, some more emulators. You know, I need to, I need to figure out uh, how to get some of the the other systems. You know, because I'm really excited to try to get some things on here to push this this overclock. Alright guys, well that concludes our video. Um, it was kind of an adventure doing this first overclock. Uh, I think I learned a couple things, you know, double check my typing and how things are in. Um, you know, want to get some more games that will really push this thing. Um, hopefully I'll be able to figure that, that out soon. Um, you know, if you're interested in more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to have some exciting things coming up here soon. Um, going to be doing some 3D printing at some point. Uh, we're also going to have an Optiplex um, budget gaming build I'm going to do. Um, you know, just something low cost. It'll be like a, a under $100 to play some games, mostly like eSports stuff. But um, what we're going to be, we're going to be doing some case modding too with that. Um, we definitely want to do a couple mod videos coming up here soon. Get some painting done, things like that. Um, so like I said, subscribe, stay tuned. We're going to have some more stuff coming out. We're also going to be doing some more stuff with the pie. Thanks for watching. See you next time.